Speedrunning is a diverse art, and there are about as many ways to speedrun a game as there are people who attempt to play games fast. Some people enjoy the most broken games and try to use these breaks as optimally as possible. Some like to do things quickly within the bounds of the game. Then there are the ones who take small chunks as quickly as they can, over and over again. Ad nauseum. I'm Pythonicus, and in this video we're going to explore some of the individual levels, or ILs for short, in Peace Walker and the search for untied records within. If you've never seen a Peace Walker speedrun before, just imagine a lot of this. Some of this. And maybe even a little bit of this. Peace Walker may be a goofy game and a goofy speedrun, but one thing that remains true regardless is that the IL scene is rather well developed. For the uninitiated, IL speedruns are fairly self-explanatory. A runner will attempt a single level of a game in an effort to optimize that level as best they can, using whatever tricks are available to them within the confines of the speedrun's rule set. IL runs are generally an extreme combination of routing, execution, and, in some cases, luck. It's worth noting that while this video will cover some IL leaderboards for Peace Walker, that it isn't the only Metal Gear game that has an active board for individual level runs. For instance, Metal Gear Solid 1's VR missions, Ghost Babble's stages and VR missions, and MGS2's Snake Tales are all examples, and there are more besides. If you wanted to learn more about MGS1 VR specifically, Plywood has made and uploaded a video regarding recent developments to his channel, linked in the description below. Back to Peace Walker, there are 32 main ops and 128 side ops, combining for a mind-boggling grand total of 160 ILs in the game, 155 of which are possible to speedrun, discounting the first three side ops since there's no end goal and aren't really timed, and the two dating side ops. And of the 155 runnable S-rank solo ILs, roughly 25 have at least a two-way tie. Seven of those are three-way, and three of those have even bigger tie lists. For this video, however, we're specifically going to focus more on the three biggest ties in Peace Walker ILs. Side ups 010, 045, and 053. It may seem like these side ops are simple, but even in a speedrun context, the simple can be complex. Let's start with side op Fulton Recovery 010. The goal is to use the Fulton Recovery System to rescue a POW tracked in the corner of the map, and then make it to the goal without getting spotted by any of the guards patrolling the area. Don't move! Ah! Looks like that soldier's out cold. Try using Fulton Recovery on him. Good job. Return to base. Easy enough to complete without too much hassle, right? Now let's take a look at the speed run. This might appear easy, but let's take a deeper look. First off, immediately you have to aim and fire the Fulton Launcher in a fairly precise spot in order to hit the prisoner and complete the main objective. This unfortunately puts all the guards in the map in a caution mode, meaning the movement to get to the goal unseen becomes a bit tricky, on top of trying to optimize it. Which brings us to the second part, box boosting to the goal. As soon as the projectile is launched, you'll have to swap to the box and immediately begin mashing the attack button, with the intention of boosting the moment the prior boost ends, minimizing the amount of time spent box walking. Now if you've timed everything properly, by the time you reach the guard in the middle of the area, you should be able to bash straight through him without him raising the alert. Then, 
without bumping into any walls, very carefully circle around the shipping containers and into the mission marker. All told, this entire process currently has a record time of 10 seconds. Yeah, that's 10 seconds. Pure inputs. And that's shared by five people. Still with me so far? There's two more examples to go over, so buckle up. Our next IL to talk about is Perfect Stealth 045. Again, it's a rather simple task to complete on a casual playthrough. Just make it to the end without getting spotted. Even with S-rank restrictions in mind, there's a fair amount of leeway to get there. The maps in question are the same as the very first mission of the main game, so players should have some familiarity with it, making things even simpler. However, this is another case where speedrunners take a simple mission and turn it on its head. This time, the IL strategies are all about movement, timing box boosts properly, and making it through an area transition without losing speed. So let's start at the beginning. After the introductory cutscene, you'll want to immediately equip the box and begin boosting off to the left fork in the path. Bash through the enemy and box boost a couple more times before coming to the map transition zone. Now here's the trickiest part of this IL in terms of execution, because you have to remove the box, quickly stand up, and roll through the loading trigger, all within a very tight window. Now this is important because during transitions, you're stuck at whatever the normal running speed is for your current mode of travel, and there's a pretty well-defined ranking system here. Box boosting is the fastest mode of transportation, but box walking is slower than running while standing. Being crouched is around the same speed as box walking, so the only option for the fastest transition is to be standing, or more precisely rolling, since the start of the rolling animation is faster than just running through the loading trigger. So now we've moved to the second map in the area, and from here it's pretty much home free. Just getting back in the box and boosting all the way there, making sure to avoid colliding with anything on your way. Now this IL isn't quite as blistering fast as 010, but at clocking in at 28 seconds, it's still pretty darn quick. Once again, five runners hold the banner together for this record. And that brings us to our final example, Clearing Escape 053. Now this case is different from the last two in that the speedrun is actually fairly simple to perform, if still a little difficult to optimize. Once again, the box is our best friend, and tight movement is pretty well a must. Equip the box and start boosting up the stairs, ducking briefly behind the house. Bash both guards by clipping through the middle of them, and head to the exit. 12 seconds is currently the fastest this method has been completed in, and four runners hold the tied record for this level. Now that we've seen some of these individual level runs, I wanted to switch from the technical talk and get a little bit into the history of how these runs came to be how they are today. But while we've talked exclusively about ILs thus far, I wanted to take a step back and look at the larger whole for a moment. Peace Walker was originally released for the PSP in 2010, and then ported to home consoles a year later as part of the MGS HD collection alongside MGS2 and MGS3. The first recorded speedrun of the full game was played by a speedrun.com user Wilbo on the HD port on October 13th, 2013 with a uh, 1.52.03 time in the new game plus true ending any percent category. And for almost three years, that was the only run recorded until the new game category was finally explored by Velissa on March 10th, 2016, and in 2018, the co-op multiplayer component was finally broken into with a new game Max Players run by Raichu MGS, Stealth Edge, Mini Omega King, and I. Back to the topic at hand, however. The first verified IL run was actually done on May 11, 2012, and by a name a lot of people in MGSR may know more recently as one of the people working at cracking MGS3 open, none other than Appel himself. Appel ran the prologue mission with a time of 1 minute and 34 seconds, which in 8 years has only been optimized by 1 second by another runner we're somewhat familiar with already, Azerdi XPP. In late 2012, a runner by the name of Fan Fan ran a swath of the main op individual levels, all of which seeing some improvements in the interim. As for side ops, the first recorded runs were performed in August of 2012 by MGSR alum Bonobodu28, 
who ran the holdup suite, side ups 35 through 37. In terms of our little case study, the first time set for Fulton Recovery 010 is actually still standing as one of the ties, set first by your name here into November 2015 at 10 seconds. Perfect Stealth 045 was originally run in June 2016 by Dr. Hell at 39 seconds, improved later that month to the current record of 28 seconds by Velissa after a brief stop at 29 seconds by Mini Omega King. Your name here was also the forerunner for Clearing Escape 053 with a 14 second run, since dropped by 1 second each by Azerdi and Marlon Haight. I hope that these examples have shown some of the best that Peace Walker ILs have to offer and maybe even interested you in joining in on the fun. If you liked what you saw in the video, you can find resources for speedrunning the Metal Gear series on our website at metalgearspeedrunners.com. There you can also find a link to the Discord server where you can learn from our best and brightest and discuss strategies with the community. And if you have a suggestion for what you'd like to see next, please go ahead and leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you.